Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nina, and would like to thank you for attending tonight's event. Raise your hand. How many of you have ever used artificial intelligence before? As a future scriptwriter and director, my biggest fear is that artificial intelligence may potentially rob me of my job. The Oxford definition of artificial intelligence is computer systems designed and programmed to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence. As I introduced where my argument is driven, I'd like to point out that in the definition, it is stated that these are all skills a human can do with its own potential. The only difference is AI can do them more efficiently, creatively, and obviously with little to no human staff. I'd like to start off with a question for all of you. Do, we, do you think we need AI to a large extent in the movie business? While not denying the pros AI could have in the industry, I would like for all of you to reflect on the extent in which it should be used as I go on with my speech. Think. Is this the kind of Hollywood we want to live in? Or is it this? Regarding the movie business, AI can efficiently analyze scripts and provide insights, a process that takes up most of the time in producing a movie. To make a movie, there are a myriad of different roles, from sound effect manager to director to costume designer and scriptwriter. The amount of people covering these roles was halved in the production of the blockbuster movies because these movies were produced mainly through algorithms using AI, which can also help in marketing strategies because artificial intelligence has the power to predict potential failure and success of a piece. As a result, the movies were a great success in the industry. Therefore, AI is revolutionizing the way we tell stories, engage, engage audience, and distribute films from script analysis to efficiency. With the rise in demand for AI-driven algorithms, platforms are being perfected every day, and AI can now create scripts which are strikingly human-like. This is scary and disappointing because script writing is something we humans have done since the Lumiere brothers created cinema in 1895, and it is frustrating that we humans don't recognize our own potential. The Guardian's predictions from AI in the industry consist in acknowledging that it could, it could potentially better movies while expressing concern of the possibility that machines could potentially replace people. With its ability to write, our beloved ChatGPT might soon be able to transform a novel into a successful screenplay or come up with one on its own. The damage in the workforce is, however, not only limited to writers. In fact, voice actors have also expressed their concern in machines possibly replacing them. In the films Roadrunner and The Andy Warhol Diaries, AI was used to replicate the voices of Anthony Bourdain and Andy Warhol. The advocacy group of national voice actors is expressing concern because it is becoming more and more difficult to identify whether a voice is being replaced by, an by synthesis sound and it is becoming e easier and easier to access synthesis, unlicensed, and free vo versions of the human's voice. Circling back to my previous point, the Oscars, red, ne red night carpet premieres, and film premieres would all be eliminated if the film business were to be entirely relied on artificial intelligence. Again, nobody wants to live in that kind of Hollywood. The exaggerated use of AI in the film industry does not only impact staff members, it impacts every single one of us. Because AI has the power to gather insight on an individual's viewing habits, blurring the line of personal data protection, affecting our privacy. An undervaluated way AI has the power to do this is through Netflix. We all know how it is divided into categories and gives us the percentage of how much we think the platform thinks we might like a movie based on our current viewing habits. But nobody considers how Netflix uses AI to do this, showing the potential the tool AI has to improve a platform but also invade our personal privacy. The truth is, we don't need all of this AI. Think, artificial intelligence was literally invented by humans. If we can create this, we can choose what limits to put on this tool. Of course, it can help in technological advancement and research, but we can do the rest on our own. Consider classics such as Titanic and Life is Beautiful. These movies use little to no AI in their writing process and are still the best in the industry. Obviously, there's always room for improvement. This is why the best way to go is collaboration. Blending creativity and artificial intelligence will and is shaping the film industry in the best way possible. 
Mm, AI can help with the marketing and production of a movie, but it will never put the same amount of creativity, dedication, passion, and, and heart a human puts into a piece. This is why aspiring and current film members need to create a new mindset. We need to learn how to collaborate with AI, which can complement with our capabilities, because as society is advancing, so, are our, so is our understanding of things. <coughs> Using artificial intelligence to a modern extent in the movie business will form the safest, most logical, and best results. Thank you.